That right there is a great summarization of Tennessee's passing game in 2023. Um, where do I start? Uh, so, as I've been saying for the past few weeks, it's obvious that Tennessee can run the ball. No issues there. Uh, J uh, Jabari Small, Jalen Wright, they're both having really good games so far, even though Tennessee only has 13-something points on Austin P. This is Austin P. we're talking about here. Ridiculous. It's 13-6 to six at halftime. Uh, and it does give me a little bit of comfort to see that we at least got a score and that we're winning. But I, for a second there, I thought this is going to be near reminiscent of uh, the, the game I dare not mention from 2019 to start out that season. Uh, so I uh, that was definitely very concerning. So a lot of teams starting out sluggish today, so that does give me a little bit of hope. Duke looks bad. Uh, Georgia didn't score a point on Ball State until the second quarter. Um, a lot of teams are playing like this, but Tennessee, there, there's some definite red flags that I'm seeing. And I talked about this uh, before in my preview, but we've got to be able to pass the freaking ball. Uh, and I know this is Austin P. Look, we could run the exact same play for the entire game and probably still be Austin P. Uh, that's not my issue. The issue lies in the future against teams like Flo even Florida, and then you got you know Texas A and M coming up, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama. You you know the drill. So uh, against all these SEC opponents, Tennessee has to be able to pass the friggin' ball. Joe Milton right now I think is like two of eleven for like thir uh, thirteen something yards in passing. Oh. That's stinky. That's awful. Now, this isn't entirely in fault to Joe Milton. This isn't, you know, a, a Joe Milton's fault entirely. I will say that. For for some reason, um, we got wide receivers who've got hands made out of, uh, like, they got, they got Mickey Mouse hands. They got those hands made out of gl gloves, like rubber gloves trying to catch the ball. And, of course, shockingly enough, they aren't able to do it. Uh, Bruce br dropped some balls, or Mel Keaton dropped another ball, just like last week. Uh, dropped some key uh, passes that would have put us in a situation. So this is ha this hasn't been entirely on Milton, but there's definitely some frustration going on around because Joe Milton's throwing these balls at 200 miles per hour, and these receivers are having a hard time catching it. So all we've been able to do in terms of offense is Cheney ball, which is running it up the middle and dump off passes and screen passes on the outside. It's throwing off Austin P, which it's Austin freaking P. It's Austin P. This isn't like we're playing Alabama's defense, uh, which that's not really saying much. Um, it's just we got to get it together, man. We got to get it together. We, we just got to get it together. That's all it is. There's still a whole other half to get it together. You know, we only need to be better than Austin P. at least one point, at least one game in the season. Everything else uh, we can be taken care of, but jeez, man. We look incredibly sluggish on the offensive side of the ball, and it's got to stop. We've got to get comfortable with the ball. Milton's got to get comfortable with the ball. Have not seen any deep throws. It's always just been the screens. Or the dropped passes over the middle. We haven't seen anything else. So it's very concerning what I'm seeing. The run game's good. I've been saying that for the entire season. For anybody that wants to say, oh, we got a great run game. I know that. Everyone who watches Tennessee knows that. We have a phenomenal run game. But that run game ain't going to be no good when we have a quarterback and a bunch of wide receivers who can't freaking catch the ball. Look, I'm 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 throwing it out there that this is just you know heebie-jeebies uh, from early early season play. We'll get it together in the second half. I have little to, I have little to no concern about this game today. Today is not my concern. Next week, the week after that, the week after that, the week after that, we're we're it's it's it, we're very fortunate to be playing Austin P rather than UTSA right now. Because imagine UTSA with their offense, they might be winning right now. And then the coaching, the coaching has been ridiculous too. I don't understand why um, it's been so bad. The offensive play calls are just it's the same thing every single time. It's re it reeks Cheney ball, and I hate it. You know how much I hate Cheney ball. Because running it up the middle 50, 12, 50, 
12 times a game ain't going to really work out in your favor every single time. And shockingly enough, it hasn't for Tennessee. So I'm, I'm honestly, I'm thankful that we're even winning right now. So we've got to get it together, man. You know, there's a whole other half to be played. We'll get it together. Um, so for any other fan base that wants to clown Tennessee, remember that you pro you either A, already have a loss, or B, came out and struggled today against a lower tier opponent like us. So yeah, yeah, take from that what you will. I'll see you guys at the end of the game.